Hey guys, Shinigami Harry here, and if you've been paying attention to the Twitter, you know I said I've been been watching some Tenshi Muyo, and if you're wondering the reason behind that, well, it's because of Ryuoki Season 4 coming out, because if I remember correctly, there is a new Tenshi Muyo coming out, and there are a ton of Tenshi Muyo fans in the whole universe that love that series, and if you're wondering what series I've watched so far, well, I've watched Ryuoki Part 3, go ahead, call me stupid, but when I was on Amazon, well... I thought the one I got included part one, but seems I was wrong, so yeah, call me stupid. And the other series I watched was Tenshi Universe. I only watched like half of it, but still, call it premature, but I want to make a video now. I was struggling on thinking what to do, I was thinking on a review, but at the end of the day, from the title, I decided to make a top video of the top main girls, the top five. And sorry, I am not going to include Norike or Kioni, though who knows, they may be included on a potential new list. Also, I know GXP had new girls introduced, like that hot blonde one. If that anime has more than two new girls in it, I will make a separate list for them. And I'm pretty sure Kione and Mihoshi appear in that series also, because, you know, GXP, Galactic Police, I think that's what it stands for. I remember seeing, like, one episode on Toonami back in the day in, like, 2013 or something. Though not the point, not the point. Though, in any case, let's go ahead and get started with the list, and at number five, we have Ayeka and... I know a lot of people are going to be pissed at me for putting her at number 5, but I don't care. I just freaking think the character is so damn boring, alright? One of the most boring characters in the Tenshi series. The only comedic thing she does is argue with Ryoko, and still, that's like not enough to bump her higher on the list. I mean, sure, we need a normal character, and that's her to balance out everything since all the other characters are a bit out there. Though, still, she's also a princess, which would also explain her attitude, kind of. But I don't care, alright? I just kind of don't like this character. If she was in a different anime, then potentially she'd be higher on this list. Though, in any case, before I move on to number four, I just want to say one more thing about Ayaka. I freaking hate the way she fights. She just uses other things to fight for her, those stupid logs. I mean, I hate when a character uses other things to fight for them when they can't fight for themselves, alright? I mean, a prime character example is Gekko Moria from One Piece. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I love the character's design, I love the thriller bark atmosphere, but I hate how the character fights. He just uses those stupid zombies to fight for him, and whenever he's fighting for himself, he either uses his shadow to fight for him, or he just goes ahead and absorbs people's powers using their shadows into his own body. I mean, I get, at the end of the day, the guy is like 60 or something, he can barely move or whatever, so he needs to take in people's powers. However, in my opinion, I think if you're at that age where you have to depend on others or something to fight for you in order to become Pirate King, you should just give up on your dream. Well, moving on to number four, we have Sasame. And I know what you're thinking. No, I'm not a pedophile or someone with a lowly complex or whatever it's called. I just think the other characters in Tenshi Muyo are way better than Ayaka. And Sasame is just an interesting character. She can cook, she's fearless, she can fight with that staff, and she is some sort of god. I don't know the full story about it. I think, like, some god or something is possessing her. I remember she transformed into something at the end of Ryu Oki Part 3. But, in any case... This girl could potentially be a good person to be friend-zoned with. I mean, she seems like a likable kid. Plus, her cooking could potentially rival the Shoku Geki no Soma Food Wars cooks in Sanji. And that is a huge comparison, I know, because the Food Wars people can make people orgasm, and if Sanji was in the Food Wars like series, he'd be able to do the same. Though, in any case, before I move on, I just wanted to say one last thing about the Sasami, about her being a badass. I just found it hilarious, slash badass and epic, when she fought that vice captain of the Galactic Patrol, like, in Ryuoki Part 3, when that woman came in and said she was going to take Sasami in as a hostage or something, she just didn't care. She just took care of that woman with her staff and then just went back to cooking. I just found that hilarious life bass at the same time. I don't know if anyone did as well, but whatever. I just felt like I needed to mention that. Though, in any case, moving on to number 3, we have Mihoshi. And I will admit one thing. This girl is beautiful, alright? I'm not going to deny that. A lot of men would probably go out with her. Though, one thing makes people turn away from her, and that is her idiocy. This girl is a freaking idiot. She's as dumb as Poppy from Monster Moose Man. No, 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 I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Poppy is much more idiotic. She forgets her name every three seconds. Meanwhile, Mihoshi can at least remember hers. So, yeah, there's that to keep in mind. And you have to admire Kione for putting up with her, because if it was anyone else in this world... They strangle her like that Evangelion voice actor did to the Oscar voice actor. If you guys heard that story, it's kind of funny and bad at the same time. Though, in any case, sure, you could go out with her and have your way with the Galactic Patrol Squad, fly ships and stuff, but, yeah, I wouldn't want to do that because if I were to drive a Galactic Patrol ship, I can guarantee I'd get lost. Go ahead, call me Zoro, my sense of direction is horrible. 
but if I were to drive one, I'd get lost in the vacuum of space. I can guarantee that. It's kind of a similar reason for driving in real life for me, but if you want to know more about that, well, we can talk about my personal life some other time. So, moving on to number two, we have Washu, and yes, I know, some people are attracted to brains and stuff, I don't think I am, but damn, is this girl a freaking badass. When she looks at you, or just opens her eyes, she just uses freaking Conker's Hockey and can silence the whole room, and god damn. If I had a power like that, I could have a ton of fun making videos pranking people, like, open my eyes, people are stunned, and... Yeah, it just kind of make a good prank or something. Plus, her experiments are kind of fun also, with the whole dimensional manipulation thing, and she does not give a crap about her inventions either, like how bad they are. I mean, when she was put in front of that council, she said she made doomsday-like stuff. She said it so nonchalantly, I found that hilarious. She just not, did, she just did not care. And, sure, she gives all those scientific speeches, and it would get boring or something, but, hey, at some point, you'd have to suck up some of that information, she says, and become smarter, so that's always a plus. Also, before I move on to number one, I want to just say her AI design was pretty great as well. I prefer it over the old one, but now that we're at number one, let's go ahead and move on to her, the former space pirate herself, Ryoko. And if you are making a Tenchi list, you have to put this girl at least at number two. This girl is such an amazing character, I would be content with just having her in Tenchi for the whole series without the other characters joining. Alright, I even think that was potentially something that was going to happen, I don't know the full story. But god! Damn, this girl seems so fun to be around. She's adventurous, she drinks, she plays Game Boy, etc. My god, that's just all the great things wrapped into a package. It's like, wow. And every day with her would just be an adventure because of her personality. I mean, sure, you could potentially die every day, but hey, some people get turned on by the thought of death, alright? I'm not gonna judge you, I'm not gonna judge you. I don't care what you do in your closets and stuff with a whip. Though, in any case, if I were to make a top 10 list of all anime girls of all time, she potentially would be on that list as well. I haven't really thought about doing one, but if I do in the future, well, yeah, she's definitely going to take a spot. However, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Tenshi countdown, and if you did, let me know if you did in the comment section below, as well as who your favorite Tenshi girl is. I'm Harrison the Shinigami, and remember, stay cool, watch anime, read manga, and I'll see you guys later.